Hey, what up though? I'm Fashawn Vega, and this is Hey By Design, the YouTube channel where we explore what is design, who are designers, who is it for, and who needs it most. And today, we're exploring engagement when meeting new people and how do we get them to open up to us and share stories. And the reason we're doing that is because one of our decoy members, Keenan Rivals, has a new camera from Fuji Films that shoots Polaroids and he wants to do something new creative for his channel and for his shooting style, which is street photography. And what we're hoping to do is to help Keenan figure out a way to have better engagement with his subjects, his muses, the people on the street that he's taking photos of. Often he's just taking pictures, like literally taking a moment of time for people. And he's been thinking about it. He's like, maybe I can give something back. What would that look like? And this is what he came up with. I think it's a really good concept, this aspect of taking pictures. He's giving pictures. Let's go see Keenan. slip into the joint without signing no papers, I had to play distraction. So basically today, Keenan is working on doing a project where he's going to engage with the people he's doing photography or taking pictures of, which is really interesting because even when we look at the vocabulary of taking pictures, the energy is take, we're taking something. And in this situation, he's gonna be doing something cool where he actually gives back. He's actually going to be giving photos that he's taken, and also collecting a little bit of story from the people that he's taking it from. Is that a puppet? <laughs> All right, so first run, first test shot, I think it was cool. Keenan actually, <laughs> he's like, cool, you can be in the vlog, you can photobomb me, but you gotta do something. <laughs> the vocabulary he used was very aggressive <laughs> and demanding. <laughs> And that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to feel people make people feel like it's you have to pressure them into something. We don't want to make them feel like uh, they have to do it. It's a, it's a you got to do this for me. But his energy was good. He was really playful. He was open and honest. The people that he took photos of, the ladies he took photos of, was willing and they were playful. So I think it was a really good exchange of sharing energy and trying out this new idea, which. I think it's really dope. Keenan is actually going to pick the guests or the subjects, the news, and I'm going to engage and see if I can get them to take a picture and tell us a little story about themselves. In a more polite manner, according to him. Side note, I just want to let you guys know this is for point of view purposes only. I don't think it's stylish, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. Fresh is fresh. Fresh is fresh. Fresh is fresh. Mind you, I think this is going to be really interesting because I don't have the suit on. I don't have the one year suit, which usually makes it, people feel really comfortable talking to me. So that might not work out so well, but we're gonna see how my personality, tone of voice, and word choice plays a difference. Let me get her right here. Right here? Yeah. All right. Excuse me. How you doing? I'm for Sean. This is my friend Keenan. Hey, we're, we're <laughs> we're and I got somewhere to go. Yeah, you guys, we can walk with you. I was wondering if we could have a moment of your time. He's, one of the, he's a street photographer. He captures stories. And we wondered if you mind taking a picture for us. No. No? No, not today. Not today? Not today. All right, well, we so appreciate much. it. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. You stay too. warm. Yeah, be safe. I, I, mean, I, I need to stay warm. I ain't got nothing on. Well, baby boy, you know better, though. Who you telling? I live for them. I'm walking with <laughs> I did the same thing you were doing now. And they caught up with me. Point taken. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be 65 this next month. Oh no, you're not doing bad then. We good. Yeah, I'm sorry, baby, but I just What just happened with the young lady and the older older lady was a prime example of being like a prime example of paying attention to people's pace, their movement, the energy they give you when you say excuse me and you greet them. Um 
this goes across the board for anything. If you say excuse me to somebody and, and try to introduce yourself and they seem a little resistant, a little reserved, a little reluctant, a little skeptical, it's a good chance that they not they're not interested in talking to you or sharing, or they might just be in a rush, right? And these are all things that we can usually pick up on before we even say anything to anyone else. But so, I think it's important to still say it. Like, you don't want to write people off or be like, no, that person's too busy or that person looks angry. Like, for what I do every day, I can make those excuses in my head all day. So I'm happy we still stop those individuals because, you know, we got the no, but at least we got the guaranteed no, as opposed to like creating our own objections. So. That's, and that's really important. I think that's great. I'm, so, I'm bringing knowledge. How you doing, man? You want, you want to get a picture from me? I'm working. I gotta go. Everybody working. All right, man, have a good one. Yeah. So is there anything that, that you wanted to do that you haven't done? And, uh, and why not? And is there anything that you are doing? And you know, how have you been kind of progressing towards it? So, um, I guess what I'm interested in is uh, I, I'm a designer. I'm an architect. Uh, and I currently work for the city, the planning department. So I'm often the, you know, revitalizing the neighborhoods in the city. Oh. Uh, but my larger goal is to hopefully have my own practice, my own firm. Um, so, I guess... Just moving towards you, yeah, doing the, it yourself? Yeah, exactly. The, so, the, I mean, the challenges are, you know, having to... As an architect, you need to have a license. So, working towards that and uh, uh, making sure that I pass certain exams and so on to, to meet that goal. Okay. That's, that's what's up. Is How long do you think that's going to take? Uh, well, I got three down, so there's six, oh. there's six tests. So I got three down, so I got uh, I'm thinking about three more by uh, before we get the summer of next year. So, uh, so you're going for it. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. All right, that's good to hear, man. Well, yeah, we're taking a picture, everybody. You know, so you can kind of remember who I am. Get him back. Want to see that car go by you? There you go. It's like freezing. You post on uh, Instagram or anything like that? Typically, I do. So typically, what I do is I just take a picture of somebody, like I get in your face. Wow, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to get that close to you. No, it's fine. I mean, I just like walk away. Um, I don't know if I would just like go off and do it myself. I kind of do that like as my hobby, but I like what I do editing wise. Okay. I appreciate it. So. Okay. That's good. So yeah, we're trying to figure out people are like somebody like me who want to be like a photographer and do freelance and be forever to do it. Yeah. And I finally went for it. So like yeah. I'm trying to encourage people to like go for it while yeah. they're at work, but also just see like if they're happy in the situation. Because like, yeah. like when you're a creative, you're like, I would never want to work at all. Yeah. Certain people they do have the ability to do so. My anxiety won't let me. But yeah, what's yeah. your name again? Jessica. 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 Yeah. Jessica. Yeah. All right, so I'm getting a picture so they actually go back to you. Okay. And uh, it's not going to be your whole body ring. Okay. You want to just angle your head so I can see that area. Yeah. It's a little towards me a little bit though. There we go. Yeah. Is that good? Yep, I'll get that in there. This thing's slow. There we go. But yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Are you waiting for the shuttle? Or? I was just waiting to get across the street. All right, so I definitely hooked you up. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks. thanks. No problem, and good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Keep writing. Thanks. Thank you. Your camera or my camera? Don't look at my camera. Don't look at both of the two takes. Two takes. Don't put that in there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but it also shows me that people, they don't want to work for other people. And that was kind of the point of this video. And I'm, I'm glad I was able to capture that. So like, I don't know what you thought about it for Sean, but uh, yeah, what, what, what did you think about it? I thought it was a really good experiment and experience to Dive in the, the actual stories of the people that you might come into contact with and to see how they feel about being photographed and more so to your point in the discovery of understanding like, what is it that you do outside of work? What is your why? Like, we know your why, we know my why, and him as a, as a creator and as a street photographer, his why is defined. But that relationship between you and your muse, you and your subject, becomes way more interesting, way more impactful when, you, when we have a space to be like, hey, not only do I work at this company, I'm a jazz musician, I'm passionate about puzzles, I'm a, I'm a mother, I'm a father. And in uh, Julio's case, he was an architect from New York who yeah. moved to Detroit and wants to invest energy and time, has a, has an expected 
lifespan and what he wants and hopes to see and what he wants to be a part of. And his work is deliberately integrated into having some type of positive effect, yeah. hopefully for the city. So I think that was really dope. What do you think about the Instax? Was it, do you think that was something that, that added to it? I not only think, I know for a fact that it added great value to the people who had the picture taken, who agreed on it. It was a gift. It was like, and like we opened up with, with photography, especially with street photography, it's a tape, right? Like ideally you're, you're taking this moment from them, whether they want it or not. And it's, and it's yours, even though it's theirs, right? And it's some, it's some conflict of interest and some, some controversy around that whole Always. idea, right? But in this situation, not only did you engage and ask permission, it was a give back. So we, we just added a whole new level of value into that exchange where people felt happy to give a piece of their time. I mean, here's the thing. People love to talk about themselves and not too often are people being asked, why do you do what you do? Yeah. What are you passionate about? What makes you you? I want to hear your story. And we're going to get into that in one of your other vlogs about how to or actually the, the podcast or podcast <laughs> or both. Two times. Right, right. About how to actually network, which is really just building relationships and how it's not about you. And if you notice today, the interaction wasn't about you. Right. Even though it was, you made it about them. And once people realize that somebody cares, even if they in a rush, a lot of people are like, yeah, you gonna, you wanna you wanna hear my story. Most people don't care about my story. You make them feel valued and important, which they are. So in all, we're gonna turn this into a weekly. I think the prototype was a success and capturing Detroit stories and why people are here is very important. And I think it's inherently at the root of decoy with sharing and capturing authentic Detroit stories. I'm thinking about that time and I'd like to thank you for yours. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe and be sure to go check Keenan out at Keenan Rivals on Instagram and YouTube. I think you got a bunch of other platforms, uh, Twitter. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and check out our segment of Why Detroit on Keenan's channel and I think we're going to start an Instagram probably going to be called Why Detroit. Be strong, be now, think great and as always find, design, repeat. Don't forget go follow everybody at Decoy that's Detroit conglomerate of YouTubers where you get authentic and true stories from Detroit YouTubers straight from the horse's mouth.